Hey guys, it's Pope. Today's vlog, we are going to be talking all about hook grip and weightlifting. Not this hook grip, <laughs> this hook grip. I have recently changed my technique in regards to the grip on my clean, so I'm really excited about this video to try to kind of dive into some things that I've talked about and tried to explain on Instagram, and I know it's not very clear, and I can do it a lot better with a video. I didn't put out a vlog last week because I have been trying to like get my life back together. I don't know if any of you are feeling this way, but post holidays and post a bunch of traveling for me, I felt like my house was a disaster. I felt like I didn't know where anything was. My diet has just been a total shit show lately. So I've been trying to like pull in the reins on everything, just like real normal life outside of lifting, outside of work and just like get organized again. I guess that's pretty common for the start of the year. But yeah, I was in Hawaii and then came home and did all kinds of family events and Christmas stuff. And then I went to New Orleans for the Sugar Bowl and for New Year's Eve. So much fun, but New Orleans wears you out. So gotten some rest and now ready to get back on the YouTube. To start out this video, I am going to show some love to one of my sponsors because I saw a new package just got delivered from them. Come on, Drew. Wow, this is a lot of stuff they sent. Vanilla whey protein, always a staple. Some creatine, looks like this is a deal, buy one get one free if you need to stock up on creatine. I am in like a high volume phase right now, so I have been using creatine. I don't always use creatine because it does make me hold water and I can't do it too close to a competition when I'm cutting, but right now I will be using some creatine. BCAAs, pre-armed, pre-workout. I am loving this stuff right now. It has like a little bit of everything, caffeine, BCAAs, creatine in it. Nothing too crazy though. Amino Octane, I've talked about this one several times. Straight up caffeine and BCAAs, nothing else in it. Greens powder, which I posted on my Instagram story this week. I am trying to make this a part of my daily routine because I don't like vegetables. It's not the best tasting thing you've ever had, but it's not disgusting either. I wouldn't be able to drink it if it was gross. So I mean, it does taste like a little bit vegetable-y, but I don't like vegetables because of the taste, so I can handle drinking this to get some micros in. Carb max, super important. Enter workout carbs when you're doing high volume stuff. And some iso whey flavors I actually haven't tried before. Strawberry shake and cookies and cream. So I've got a full new stack now, which is awesome. Out here just trying to get strong again and get my squats back to where they once were pre-hip injury. The struggle is real. Big thank you to Universal for always keeping me stocked up on my favorite supplements. Those are all the ones I use on the regular. If you're looking for some supplements for yourself, definitely check them out. For this video, I'm going to try to get a few supplemental videos of some other lifters and also try to get some zoomed in clips from my training today of my actual turnover on my clean so you can really see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that 100% of weightlifters use the hook grip on the pull of the snatch and clean jerk. Could be wrong, there may be an outlier somewhere out there that I've never spoken to or heard of, but I'm pretty positive everyone uses the hook grip from the floor to the hip. And what the hook grip actually is, is wrapping your hand around the bar with your thumb first and then wrapping your other fingers around the thumb and the bar. And this really locks you in connected to the barbell. So if you're a weightlifter out there or a crossfitter or just trying weightlifting for fun or using it as a supplement to your other sport or exercise, make sure you're using the hook grip off of the floor. You want to have that good sturdy grip so you are connected to the barbell. That's not really what today's video is about. Today I want to talk about keeping your hook grip throughout the lift or not and if that's right for you. I'll talk about it first on the snatch. On the snatch, since the day that I learned how to snatch until today, I have always kept my hook grip on the turnover. Throughout the lift, I keep my thumb locked in with my other fingers, and I have, since day one, felt 
that this is the best way for me to stay connected to the bar and I've never even thought twice about releasing it. Some people do release the bar during a snatch and catch it with the bar just in the palm of the hand. I just have never done it that way. I feel much more in control of my bar path when I keep the hook grip. But again, that's personal preference and some people don't. One of America's really good snatchers, she also has an American record, uh, Kiana Welsh, she releases her hook grip not only on the turnover, but she also hops her hands a little bit. And I've also seen others in the past, like Sam Lower, do that before too. So it's not like a one size fits all on the snatch with keeping the hook grip or not. If you're a beginner in weightlifting, I would recommend you keep the hook grip on your turnover because you can really direct the barbell on your pull under the bar and put it exactly where you want it to go. The difference between keeping your hook grip on the snatch versus the clean is I don't think there is as many mobility limitations that are going to influence that personal preference. I could see maybe some uh, wrist mobility, possibly some shoulder tightness could affect not wanting to keep the hook grip, but for the most part, I think that is just what feels best for you. That's my opinion on the snatch, and it is my greatest strength in weightlifting, the pull under and the turnover on the snatch. That is the thing that I'm best at. So that's my recommendation. If you're newer to learning weightlifting, try to learn it with keeping the hook grip the entire lift, because I think it will help you understand the snatch better. The clean is a whole different story. You'll hear a lot of people with varying opinions on this and uh, the coaches I've had in the past kind of disagree on this, I guess, in a way. The ultimate goal behind any of the arguments though is to place the barbell on your shoulder as efficiently as possible without any crash. Some people will say that keeping the hook grip will allow you to guide the barbell to your shoulder better and be in better control of it, which it does, just like I was talking about in the snatch but other people say that it is slower, especially if you don't have the mobility in the lats, in the rotator cuff muscles and traps. There's all kind of uh, factors that go along here that would prevent you from efficiently turning the elbows over with the hook grip. And that was kind of the problem I was running into and why I have chosen to change my technique on this. If you've been following my weightlifting career for long enough, you will know that in the beginning, of my days of competing at the national level. I had a horrendous looking clean. And those of you out there might be saying, I still have a horrendous looking clean, but you don't know what it used to look like. Three stays on the red platform for Kimberly Lewis. So I was queen of the bar crash when I first started out in weightlifting. And uh, the bar would literally just like fling out of my hand and then eventually land on my shoulder. It was terrible. Working on the pull, working on learning to pull under over the years, even though it's my biggest struggle, it has improved a lot, even before I started changing my grip, but it still never got to the point where I could efficiently turn the bar over without a crash. So about a year ago, I started working on doing cleans while maintaining my hook grip throughout the entire lift. So from the ground, all the way to the squat, through the stand up, I was keeping my hook grip locked in. This really helped me learn how to pull under a clean. It really forced me to learn how to whip my elbows around at the right time, not wait on the bar to go super high in the air and then come back down. And that was my biggest struggle in weightlifting. It still is, it's still something I'm having to work on on the daily. But keeping my hook grip did help me learn to understand pulling under the bar better and feel it and create that muscle memory. So that got me to some new PRs in the clean and jerk and in the clean. My best clean so far is 111 and I did that in competition. My clean PR is in competition and I just barely missed the jerk. Fast forward to now, I've decided to undo that technique which might sound dumb because I was hitting new PRs but it was really causing stress on my shoulder. I was uh, dealing with frozen shoulder which comes and goes for me. I was in a very bad car wreck when I was 16 and I have some nerve damage in my neck and my doctors believe that is a factor in why I get frozen shoulder at 29 years old. It is an injury that is common in more like the 60 to 70 year old range. <laughs> Anyways, I deal with it and I get adhesions in my shoulder capsule 
and it really sucks when it flares up bad because it just takes a while to thaw back out and takes a lot of rehab. I have to basically rework all of my rotator cuff muscles and train them to fire correctly again and get my shoulder to not be so locked up because it just does not move like a ball and socket when it's frozen like that. And I came to the realization that really trying to force my arms into a position that they are not mobile enough to be in was causing it to flare up so bad. So I've decided to now go back to releasing my hook grip in the middle of the clean. So now I am working on a happy medium between the two styles that I've done before. Before when I let go of my hook grip, I had this giant bar crash. And then when I was keeping my hook grip, I was putting a lot of strain on my shoulders because I have a lot of muscle mass in my upper body. I don't have a ton of mobility. So now moving forward, I'm trying to work on releasing the hook grip as late as possible and also being able to use my full range of motion in my front rack position without a hook grip. On the clean, mobility is a big factor in your decision if you wanna keep that hook grip on the turnover. If you can comfortably do front squats with your hook grip intact and it causes no like pulling sensation or really a lot of uncomfort, I think it's a great idea to keep your hook grip throughout the entire lift. There's a lot of people I know that do keep it and are very, very good cleaners, very strong cleaners. And they're able to place the bar right on their shoulders so efficiently, but they also have that really good upper body mobility. So that's where it's like a big decision weighing the pros and cons of, do you wanna be able to have high elbows or do you wanna be able to stay connected to the bar? And you should only keep your hook grip throughout the entire lift if you can do both of those things. That being said, I don't have the good mobility, but I got a lot out of spending a full year keeping the hook grip on my clean because it was teaching me how to pull under the bar. So even if your mobility is kind of lacking, something to think about with your coach is maybe keeping the hook grip on the clean will help you really learn how to pull under the bar efficiently if that is one of your shortcomings as a weightlifter. So it's kind of just like food for thought, figuring out which way you should do it. There are some people I talk to, like Camille, for example, who's a very strong cleaner. She was like, I could never keep my hook grip on my clean. I wouldn't be able to get my elbows up. So there's a lot of like disagreement there, but it's again, personal preference and you gotta figure out what works best for you. But I wanted to break it down and kind of explain the options so you guys knew what I was talking about because a lot of people thought that I meant that I was not using a hook grip at all. <laughs> and that's not it at all. It's about releasing it on the turnover or not. I would definitely recommend if you're going to do the full clean with your hook grip that you always train anything to do with the clean with that hook grip. So do your front squats with the full hook grip, anything like that. Power cleans, that's how I trained it for the full year. Every time I did a front squat, you would see my hook grip engaged. I'm going to show you guys some lifters that are better than me, both keeping the hook grip throughout the entire clean and releasing it so you guys can really see the difference. This is Toshiki's 208 kilogram lift from the World Championships this past year. Keeps his hook grip the entire time. For those of you that don't know kilos, that is 458 pounds. So that is a very successful lift while maintaining the hook grip throughout the clean. Very impressive, strong, strong dude. <laughs> this strong lady from Japan's name is Mikiko. She's a 59 and she releases her hook grip. This is clean and jerking 131 kilos. That's 288 pounds. So both of those lifters are competing at the highest level and they're using two different techniques on the clean as far as the grip goes. When deciding what works best for you, just remember all that you're trying to work towards is efficiently getting the barbell to your shoulder with those high elbows so the front squat stand is as easy as possible. We don't want a bar crash and we don't want low elbows. That's gonna lead to the best clean possible. Shout out to Hook Grip for giving me those supplemental videos to help me explain this topic a bit better. And shout out to Team Japan for giving us such great lifters to study. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got a lot out of it, if anything, just to 
spark some thought and put some more uh, energy into figuring out which technique is going to work best for you. Kind of crazy how uh, your thumb plays such a big role in weightlifting, kind of like your big toe does in just walking and every other activity. My coach Amy really believes that changing this technique for me is going to not only keep me healthier and less in pain in my shoulder, but also going to improve my efficiency in the lift and hopefully lead to some new PRs in the clean. I'm going to be working on the complex I've been doing over the last several weeks where we do a five second pause on the first clean for a triple. And I'm really hoping to PR that triple soon because they're feeling better and better every week. So I think that this change in technique is going to be a very positive thing for me. I'm going to kick last year's version of myself's butt. Thank you guys for watching this one and hanging out with me today. Give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful and make sure to subscribe to my channel. See you in the next one. Bye.